Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we got for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, which is set to release on both the Nintendo Switch and on PC on June 30th. And today we're going to be checking out yet another brand new set of gameplay clips that we got thanks to Capcom, this time showcasing Malzeno, one of the monsters that we basically knew of, but Capcom reserved basically showing us anything about up until the most recent digital presentation. Within said uh, presentation, we did end up getting short little bits of like gameplay, but we are now finally getting the longer extended clips, pretty much uncut, so we're actually able to take a closer look at some of his attacks and be able to get a better understanding as to what he's going to be capable of in Master Rank, because remember, all the gameplay we have been seeing up to date is all Master Rank gameplay. So first and foremost, you should be able to see that, of course, you have your rain right there with you. This is going to be one of those single player partner quests that you're going to be able to do. Of course, you're also going to have the option to be able to do it by yourself if you so desire with your Palico and your Palamute if you so desire. And of course, online as well. Do remember the partner quests are not available online, so you are not going to be able to bring Fiorain or, you know, any of the other characters available into the game when it comes to the online scenarios. So right out of the gate, you do see him do his rather extensive roar. This one does seem to be a little bit more extended than the other ones. Your characters will still kind of like shudder and crouch a little bit as he's kind of like sounding off being menacing as he typically will. And then you eventually get to see uh, the hunter kind of like start to prepare. You see his first attack. It does seem to get caught off, but it seems to be rather a interesting left paw frontal swipe that he does uh, he kind of winds up his left paw and then instantly begins to kind of attack uh, the next attack that you do get to see is kind of floating up in the air so he's kind of like gravitating uh, flying a little bit in place not kind of grounded to the floor and you're actually going to see him kind of like pounce his tail directly into the ground not necessarily try to aim at any specific one hunter just to get his tail down to the floor and then almost like in a spear attack type fashion, use the spiky part of his tail, which is glowing red, directly forward. Kind of like a front directional attack. Try to get his tail up. Uh, pretty much to stab anything that's facing right in front of him. Then he'll kind of like jump up in the air and then land facial fronting. So it's going to be one of those that like, because he does have to recover, uh, you are going to have a pretty decent amount of time to be able to kind of well on his face uh, for a little bit. If he doesn't necessarily hit you with it and pretty much all you have to do is kind of like either get out of the way or go behind him. So it's going to be one of those. Uh, in the next clip, we also get to see him do kind of like a wind up air attack if you will i'm not necessarily sure if he's actually tossing anything it doesn't necessarily look like it he seems to kind of like crouch on crouch down move to the left side and then kind of do like a mea mea if you will uh, but he's not like continually blasting it's just like an air blast that he does for which is really interesting we haven't necessarily seen that before uh and then you also see fiorain kind of using healing ability in that regard so it seems to be like these partner characters are not only going to be able to do healing abilities, but also traps, which is something that they mentioned in the presentation as well. So they are going to be supportive in more ways than just basic flat out mindless attacks. Uh, we are also going to see uh, him now once again, kind of flying up in the air, staying in one still position, and then just kind of like doing a blast of air downward with his wings. So this one is another one of those really interesting ones where, He's not necessarily using kind of like his might or his strength. He's using wind essentially to be able to kind of like cause a havoc all around him. You kind of see the um, stones kind of like fly up in the air and stuff like that. So he's using wind essentially to be able to pretty much get the best out of it. Now, the last attack that we do get to see or the next one that we get to see, I think is one of the more interesting one. He sends out the flying giggies as a lot of people have kind of like, you know, named them because we don't necessarily know what their name is, but they definitely look like giggies with wings. So he sends out these little like creatures can, they kind of like begin to spiral into a specific position. They seem to be th a sets of three. And then he uses them kind of like explosions. So they'll spin around. They kind of form into a ball. It begins to go black and red. Then they kind of fly out outwards in separate directions, left, right, and middle. And then they kind of hit you. They send you up flying. And presumably, this is where you get one of his type of bleed uh, debuffs. We do know that just like Seregios, Mazdana also has the bleed effect that he's going to give you. So this is going to be like one of those as well. 
Uh, in the last attack, we also kind of see him do a little bit of a breath attack. But in that same fashion, instead of him sending out the flying giggies, this time that red black kind of energy that he sinks it out forward. He's kind of like breathing onto the hunter right in front of their faces, not a beam or anything like that. Uh, they do get to set, be sent back. And then you begin to see three separate waves of explosions. And if you saw the Somnicanth, the Aurora Somnicanth uh, gameplay clip that I just put up yesterday, I broke down one of the most devastating attacks that monster has. Seems to be after it kind of begins to shout, it waggles on his tail a little bit, and then it kind of does this breath attack where it's just kind of like continual AoE. One wave, two waves, three waves, heading out out outwards into pretty much all directions except the back and the really close sides. Mazeno seems to have the same type of attack. He will do this big breath attack, kind of like directly forward into the hunter, and then you see one wave closer to him, a second wave a little bit more in front, but more directionally uh, spread apart, and then a third one that's going to catch you once again. If you did get caught up in the first attack, you're going to get caught up in the third attack as well. So presumably, if you are going to get caught up by this specific attack, you certainly want to get caught up in the second wave so it doesn't bounce you again into a fourth wave because it's non-existent. If you do get caught up by the breath one, he's going to catch you with the breath, he's going to catch you with the first wave, and he's going to catch you with the third wave. So it's continual. So this one certainly seems to be, especially in Master Rank, where you're going to be taking a lot of damage. Presumably this one could be one of those one hit KO kind of combos that he does. If you get caught up in it, you're just not going to really be able to survive it. Uh, the last little clip that we do get to see, of course, is Malsano again, kind of like floating. He sends out a little bit of a blast down right underneath him. You do get to see Fiorain kind of like riding a Luna Garen. Uh, and then you see Malzano kind of like winding up once again to do that same thing that he just threw down that energy black red, and red energy he just threw down this time in a right word kind of like spin begin to fling it forward before the kind of like clip cuts out so that we have seen that in another clip as well so we now know that that energy kind of like he places it down and then using again the wind he kind of like flings it forward as well so i do think one of the more interesting things that we do get to see in these gameplay clips is that he does seem to use a lot of wind attacks very interesting kind of like kushala doora does a lot of wind attacks just uses the power of wind to be able to do uh, some of the things that he does a little bit better we also get to see him kind of like he loves to kind of like fly it on the air stay above ground and then just use that as an ability to be able to like you know dish out attacks as best as possible and one of the clips that we did get to see previously where he kind of shows off his bleed effects we know that underground he's also extremely menacing because he uses his frontal paw he uses a directional tail strike as well kind of like directing forward instead of the flying upward when he kind of like pokes it out like a spear this time he's doing it but he's kind of like still staying on the ground so even if he's on the ground that doesn't necessarily mean he's less dangerous it just means that he has a different attack pattern as well we also haven't necessarily seen and this is something that they teased of course in the presentation as well his enraged form uh, we know he's not going to like really change forms or anything like that something growing with his neck is certainly going to happen uh, but we don't necessarily know what's ultimately what that's going to be but what we do know is that his attack patterns are most likely going to change and vary just a little bit. So not only is he going to hit you harder, but he's going to be a little bit more menacing than he already is. But that's about all the information that I have for you guys today. I love that they have been putting out these longer extended looks at some of these gameplay clips because we certainly are excited to see more of this game, which is just about to drop in a little bit of shorter than six weeks. If you are brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.